<laughs> Lots of experimentation today, today on Kazoo. Kazoo. here on Kazoo, so we decided to bring in the expert, Missy McGrath, aka Scientific Sue. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, welcome along. It's great to have you here. Loads of you will know Sue. You travel the length and breadth of the country showing us very cool experiments. And we also have an assistant today, don't we? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We have Tell them all who you are, dude. How are you? My name's Bradley. <laughs> and are you ready to be Sue's assistant? Oh boy, am I. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, let's get our safety goggles on. Let's get our science pose on. It's time for experiments. experiments. Tell them what we're doing today, Bradley. Neutralizing acid. Indeed we yes. are. Shall we get going? We shall. Let's okay. Do it. So whenever we burn things, mm -hmm. unfortunately, pollution goes up in the sky. So, Bradley, today you are going to be. Mr. Acid Rain, and you're going to be a baddie. Mwah. Okay, so Bad hold base. that there for me. Fantastic. And Catherine, we're going to make you into the, the heroine. You're going to be the scientist, and you're going to neutralize this acid rain. I can do that. So, and what we have here, we've got two chemicals. Can you hold that there? Mm -hmm. Inside this one here, we've got ethanoic acid. Can you tell me that name? Ethanoic acid. Good. Ooh, so good. this is actually vinegar. And inside Ooh. here, this is a really long one. You can do me this one. Okay. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Yeah, but it's really exactly. boring. This is baking soda. And ah. Right, put them back down on the bench. Okay. Because what Got we're it. going to do, they're very boring in colour. Mm -hmm. So, Bradley, I want you to colour them using the juice from red cabbage. Oh. Now, what colour does it look like? Around like a purplish kind of purple. red. Good. So, in water, it's purple. So, what I'd like you to do, Bradley, now this is a little bit dangerous, so we're wearing our glasses, which is good. I want you to pour in some juice into there and let's see what colours we get here. Quite nice and fast. And. Stop there. Lovely. Ooh, that's lovely. Lovely red colour. Now, Catherine, what I'd like you to do is you're going to pour it into the opposite of the acid. Excellent. Ah, oh, we've got a lovely <gasps> greeny blue. So, we've got the cabbage juice, goes red in acid, mm -hmm. and it goes greeny mm. blue in alkaline. Now, cool. this is where we have to do the neutralisation. Bradley, are you ready for this? Okay. Now, it might be a little bit messy, oh, so we're yeah. going to bring out a tray. This is very good to have at home. <laughs> and this is. So, Catherine, I want you just to just hold that nice and steady. Okay. Right? Yeah. And, and, Bradley, what I want you to do is you're going to pour all of that liquid, well, up to about there. Can you do that for me? And I'll step back. Go Three, back. two, one, go. go. I think I might have forgot to say that it might explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, look at this. Can you see that we've got some nice colour changes there? Yeah. Yes. And we've it's got like a, mix a of big fizz. And that fizz is a fizz that we get in fizzy drinks. Ooh. Does that mean we have to stop it drinking fizzy drinks? No. <gasps> it Please no. But what I'd like you to do, can you pour very gently all of this fizzy drink into that bottom? Now, With baby pleasure. bottles are really good because they are natural measuring cylinders. So if you don't have... Oh, slow down. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Look at that fizz coming out oh, already. Oh, dear. <laughs> nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Sorry about that. That's OK. Good. Science can be messy. It is always like messy. It. Which is why we have lab coats <laughs> and safety glasses. Mm -hmm. Sorry, official. <laughs> if, you, if you think this probably is messy, wait till you think... Wait till you see the laboratory, probably. <laughs> <laughs> right, a little bit more. All right. Okay. Doing well, Bradley. Good, good, good. And stop there. Also, a reminder for parents: don't go go too fast and with the fizzy drinks at parties. Now, Catherine, <laughs> can you give that a good shake for me, please? Indeed, I can. Keep shaking. Keep shaking. Excellent. And stop. <gasps> oh, genie! <laughs> it looks like a water balloon. <laughs> Look at that. So the pressure of that gas That's is so balloon. big; it's actually big enough to stretch the rubber. Like a big wow. What I want us to do yeah. is to use that pressure to do some bursts. So come over here. <sighs> okay. Right. And what we've got here, we've got the vinegar inside the bottle. Come over here, Bradley. Give me one. You put one in. I'll put the other one in. The baking oh, soda oh. goes in. Baking soda. So this time the pressure's going to build up. And we put this down. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get the pushes down. Woo! What? <laughs> what <pushes> up? <laughs> and we get a volcano. <laughs> wow. That was so great. 
Bradley, thanks a million to Scientific Seal. Bradley, did you enjoy that? Oh, that was classic. <laughs> Wicked cool, wasn't it? Love it, cool. So if you want to do any experiments, please do get in touch. Now that we have the expert, we can do anything that you want to do. If you want to be our scientific assistant, please get in touch through our website, rte.ie forward slash kazoo. But for now, it's over to Animania because it's World Animal Week. We've got to do animals. See you after me. Hi, I'm Anna. I live in the safari farm in Mullingar. Here we have animals like camels, llamas, deer, cattle, everything. These are pot belly pigs and they were born here. Their favourite food is grass nuts and leftover vegetables. They also love being like played with and given food. Even though sometimes if I feed them in my hand, they kind of bite me nearly, but luckily they don't usually do that. Good lad. Oh, good boy. This is our deer. We have loads of deer on the farm. This one, as you can see, is, is her coat looks pretty shaggy at the moment, but it's not like a disease or anything. It's just she's losing her winter coat. She's a female because she doesn't have antlers on her, and those ones over here, these have antlers. And we have to cut off their antlers so they don't fight through the fences and break the fences. But it doesn't hurt them because by the time we cut them off, they're, um, they're hard like bone, so it doesn't hurt them. This is our emu. Emus are originally from Australia. Their feathers are kind of funny because they're not exactly feathery feathers. They're kind of more stringy from the hairier type of feathers. And as you can see, they don't exactly have ears. They more have kind of holes in their head to listen out of. And it's very strange what the emus do. None like chickens, they actually, the male sits on the eggs and then the male like is like the mummy for the chicks. <laughs> These are the camels, they're very big, as you can see. And these are Bactrian camels with the two humps. One of his humps is actually flopped over because he's